welcome to the Star Ledger Newsroom Friday, December 5th. Well, it's getting uglier out there. The economy, I mean, unemployment figures are out for the month of November. As I showed it this morning, the nation's unemployment rate shot up to 6.7%. 5,300,000 people made jobless last week, or at least 530,000 5, jobs eliminated last month. And if you're in New Jersey, well, good luck trying to apply for unemployment benefits. Our reporter, Brian Murray, yesterday headed out to the uh, unemployment offices in New Brunswick where he found scores of people who are just at their wits' ends trying to file employment uh, for unemployment benefits. Here's the deal. They don't take applications uh, over the in, over the in person anymore. So you have to go over the Internet or you have to call on the phone. And people are saying when they do call up, they're getting put on hold forever and they just can't get through. You, you know what it's like when you try to call these state offices. Sometimes you just cannot get a human. And here's, here's what they're talking about. You call the office and this is what, this is what people Welcome are getting. Welcome to the Employment Call Center. To file a new unemployment claim or to reopen a claim, press 1. Okay, press 1. New claim. Now is a very high workload. We can only serve a certain Social Security numbers each day. If your Social Security number ends in 0 to 3, zero to call three. on Monday. Call on Monday. If your number ends in 4 to 6, and please call four on Tuesday. To six, call if your Tuesday. number ends in 7 to 9, please call on Wednesday. Anyone right. can call on Thursday or Friday. Okay, it's Friday. Para distribuir mejor el este parte de mensaje es para nuestros amigos desempleados que no hablan inglés. Watch out, Univision. Si, someday I'm going to be hosting Sábado Gigante. Okay. Same message in Spanish. All right. Now, okay. Still going. Oh, rings. Someone's going to come on. Welcome to the New Jersey Reemployment Calling oh, Center. Yeah. There we go. To continue in English, press Wait, one. didn't we do the English Para Spanish thing already? Español, see? Well, there, you see what they're talking about. And just talked to Brian Murray. Got an email from him who reported on this story who says, since the story ran, we were getting many, many more phone calls from unemployed people who were having the same problem. So there you have it. All right, on to a uh, four more lighter topic, Italian hot dogs. Now, I want to start with a little personal story here. When I, from, I grew up in Jersey, and from the time I was born to the time I was 18, I think I could count on one hand the, the number of times, besides going to New York, that I actually left the state. When I got to college, out of state, I was dating an Italian girl, and I said to her at one point, you're Italian and you never had an Italian hot dog? What's the matter with you? Well, it's a pretty stupid thing to say because I learned subsequently that Italian hot dogs have nothing to do with Italy and everything to do with New Jersey. Columnist Mark Diono writes about this this weekend, and he was out there yesterday at one of the classic Italian hot dog joints in Newark. Check it out. Back in the 1950s, there were Italian hot dog joints all over Newark's North Ward. Now there's only one, Dickie D's. For 50 years, two couples have made the place a Newark culinary legend. We've been married 58. Talk a little bit about the friendship and like how important it is to have uh, like a friend like that to sort of just be with for so long. That's right. It's, it's most of the times it's like uh, it's, it's like being married to each other. You understand? I mean, you have arguments, exactly, you, you yeah. forget. We have good times, we're bad times, but we're always together for each other. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you name it after uh, you? He had well, the they name. couldn't say Dino Senzio. Huh? He had the oh, he, name. That was his idea. That was my idea. My real name is Dominic. From, nobody ever called me Dominic. So when I went up there, they started calling me Dickie D. So when he said, we're going to name the store Dickie D, he said, that's a catchy name. I said, okay, you think, think so? He said, yeah. The sandwiches come out with assembly line precision. Bread, peppers, onions, dogs, potatoes, it all keeps the customers coming back. I don't know, but it's good. It's always been good. So you come back, you can find something good, you come back. You know, I didn't even get a napkin with this. I don't know how I'm gonna get through this. It's gonna be a messy proposition. Okay, 
Poquanic Township High School is having this big talent show contest that they're modeling after American Idol. They're calling it Poquanic Idol. We've got a video here, and what I loved about this video is that it kind of brought me back to high school. There were all the characters and a lot of the faces and people I saw in there reminded me of people from my high school. Check it out. is a knockoff of American Idol, only it's called Conic Idol, and um, we have all the students uh, coming in and seeing who's going to be the best, who's going to be number one, and uh, who's going to be the best singer or best dancer, so it's not really a talent show, but a kind of a contest and uh, a way to kind of uh, see who's talented in the school. Won't you please let me back in your heart, oh darling I was blind to let you go. I'm just looking for someone once again that grabs our attention. We got a lot of singers yesterday that were good singers, but they couldn't hold the stage, and that's what we worry about come final time. You needed someone to show you the way. I am looking for original acts. I don't want impressionists. I don't want people who are copying CDs. I want good presentation and something original in your own voice. Originality is the key here. We all need somebody. Something amazing, Grace. Cliche, my name's Grace, so I figured it'd be kind of humorous. I would sing for you myself, but I'm too busy eating this Italian hot dog. I finally got a napkin, though. All right, that wraps up Ledger Live for today. Keep in touch. We want to have your videos, your photos, your emails. Shoot them to us at ledgerlive at starledger.com. And of course, you can log on and sound off on the news blogs at nj.com. All right, Jersey, take it easy.